Hi there, another video today with a new process video. And today we're going to play with some of Paintbrush Studio's new releases to create a scrapbook layout. And the key here is that I'm going to use quite a few of the car, of the car making uh, products to create a layout. So I'm going to start with one of the newest releases. This is the RC Floral Washi Tape. And it's a white washi tape. And it literally, it attaches onto anything that you put it on. In this case, I am using cardstock, white cardstock for that. And you're going to see that I'm using a ruler just to, like, you know, make sure that it lays flat on my cardstock. There's no bubbles. And once I have it ready, I'm going to go ahead and die cut it. The beauty of this washi tape tapes is that they come with a coordinating die a stencil and a stamp i'm using the die it comes all in one piece so you don't have to be playing with little um die cuts to each one of the florals instead it just comes in one single piece and in my case i have my extended platform so i'm able to cut them all at once and it's great because you create quite a bit of florals with just one pass so i have cut a few of them i have them set on the side here now i'm going to start playing with some paper the collection that I'm using today is making the best of it. It was designed by my friend Caitlin Schaefer for Pink Fresh Studio. And I love the earthy colors, but bright and modern. I just love the designs. So I'm going to pick this paper here. This is a peach paper. Um, I can't remember the name uh, from the collection, but I love the fact that it's super simple. It has like a really soft tone, which is great for what I have in mind. And I'm also going to pick one of the papers from the six by six paper pad because I wanted a smaller scale design for this. And I'm going to cut this one into six strips, sorry, four strips of one and a half by six inches and my idea at the beginning was to have or create sorry two strips of that green paper at the top and the bottom of the peach paper but as i was setting it up i didn't like it i thought it was too heavy so i'm going to just choose to add one strip at the bottom of the paper so you can see that i'm kind of setting up my idea on my page i'm going to bring the pictures that i have here that's my niece my nephew my sisters on the back on my nephew's birthday a couple months ago once i set my pictures on the paper i'm gonna mark pretty much the corners where everything is gonna sit on the back on the back um on the cardstock and i'm using white cardstock for that because i want to make sure that i have a limit to where everything is gonna sit because i want to add a little bit of color so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the two strips of the six by six paper pad. This is one and a half by six. So I'm going to make it into a 12 by one and a half. So a little bit of washi tape on the back works great. And then I'm going to put that, I'm going to tuck it underneath the peach paper just to create that big paper strip or the long paper strip uh, um, on my layout that is going to anchor everything to the page. Now that I my ideas kind of coming together, I know that I need to add color. That's one of the reasons why I use the pencil to mark those little corners or those little dots on my paper, you know, where my pictures were sitting. And the color that I'm choosing, this one here is a slumber. I'm using one of the scrapbook.com's uh, ink blending brushes. And the way I'm going to attach the ink is I'm going to see that I'm picking up some of the ink on my brush and I'm going on a circular motion between those dots that I marked at the top of the page. I want to add a little bit of color to the background. Think of it as creating a halo of color. I don't want to cover the entire page. That's why I marked those two little spots so I know exactly where um, talk, say mixed media or in this case the color has to go. And I don't want a heavy saturation of color. I just want to kind of create a halo. I just want a little bit of pop of color on the background so anything that i put on top of it is going to pop once i'm happy with what like you know the coverage on the top looks like i'm gonna move to the bottom and i am using um sweet freesia for the bottom it's a tone of purple again this matches some of the florals on the washi tape and i'm gonna do the same thing i am going to find those two dots that i marked at the bottom of the on the on the bottom parts of the of the pictures and i'm gonna use again the same brush i'm not changing brushes and i'm gonna apply my ink moving towards the bottom of the page i'm gonna set it dry for a little bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and attach the paper i want to make sure that my paper strips sit a little bit higher than the center of the page so i'm gonna attach my green paper strip at around five and a half inches from the top of the page so you're gonna see that it's not completely center and then i'm gonna attach the um peach paper at around two and a half inches from the top so that 
I'm going to say around a half an inch of the green paper shows at the bottom. And I just want that little hint of green to make anything else popped out. Simple as that. I'm just folding a little bit the top and the bottom of the paper just to add some dimension. Nothing major. Now, like I said before, we're going to use quite a few things of card making into creating a scrapbook layout. This die that I use here is called Floral Lace Die, and it was designed by Paige Evans for Pink Fresh Studio. I love the fact that it's actually what I call a continuous die. And what I mean by that is it has no straight limits. That means that it repeats and you can easily create the illusion that you have a really large die cut, even create a background just by using this die because it repeats. All you have to do, and you're going to see that I'm doing right now, is trying to match the floral from the background to the top to create this continuous look. So I'm superimposing some of the die until I see them match and it's a repeating shape. So it repeats every other line. And then I can elongate the look of this die, which is what I'm doing right now. I had pieces left over from another project. So I'm just going to kind of piece or it's a redundant but it's true i'm gonna piece the little pieces together to create a longer um, background and my idea is kind of create a broken zigzag for my background using the lace and this is going to bring a little bit of um texture it's going to bring interest to the background and it's going to take the place of pattern paper and but giving it like this really soft and deli delicate look and this is one of the reasons why i added ink to the background because if i just put the lace on top of white it's not going to pop that much instead i'm adding it on top of the little bit of the color that i added so the detail of the lace just pops a little bit more it doesn't get lost so you're going to see my idea is said I'm going to go ahead and attach it onto my page and all I'm going to do is just a little bit of glue to the back of the lace just in the areas where the lace is attached to the pattern paper not to the cardstock I want the edges or the outside edges of this lace to be free so if they fold I'm okay with that I just want the movement I want to add texture onto my layer kind of flowing just think of it as lace I want it something delicate and softly and flowy for my page once I have that I'm going to set my page pictures i'm going to put them right on the center of the lace so that they come off like around half an inch from the top of the peach paper and around a half an inch or two an inch from the bottom of the green stripe simple as that now here's where we're going to play with the washi tape die cuts and first of all i'm going to tell you that um i am of the school that you should be able to um modify your die cuts or ephemera to make it work for you it's the same with the washi tape you're gonna see that i'm gonna cut some pieces i'm gonna trim some of the leaves i'm gonna open spaces in my leaves because the idea that i want to create is i want these florals to kind of hug my pictures i want them to go around my pictures kind of creating a cascade as s shape around my pictures so you're gonna see that i'm playing with some of the ideas i'm putting them i'm tucking some of the florals underneath each other and i don't add foam adhesive until i'm happy with what it looks like and like you're gonna see right now i'm just trimming some of the spaces in between the leaves because i want to make sure that when i put them on my pictures some of the leaves hug my photos and that gives you the impression that they're coming from behind um they just like you know kind of like this abundance of florals behind them now, one of the things that I'm always careful is that I don't cover faces or like important parts of my pictures with leaves or anything like that. It's kind of my pet peeve, but I think that, you know, I want them to be a focal point, but I don't want them to take away from my picture. So I'm always going to work around it. And at the same time, I'm going to add enough florals to create that movement on my pictures, but I'm going to make sure that... I don't overdo it because I don't want to cover that lace that I added. So when everything, think about balance. I'm adding enough to create that movement and bring interest. But at the same time, I'm bringing enough that you have a nice balance between the florals and the lace. Once I have that, I'm happy with what it looks like. Now, here's the kicker. I am using... Um, spanglish for my layout and the reason i'm doing that is because i actually have the spanish version of the collection this is in spanish is 
you know, it's beautiful and it's probably, this is going to go to my sister's album. So I want it to be in Spanish. We speak Spanish at home. So all my embellishments are going to be in Spanish. And you're going to see that I am bringing these chipboard flares. I'm going to go for darker colors and I'm going to put them in a way that they create a triangle on my page. The little phrase stickers that I'm adding, actually they're ephemera. The one at the bottom is ephemera. The one on the top is a sticker. It's just going to balance each other out. And then the title says Lo Mejor De Hoy. That means the best part of today um and it's just like i said a selfie with my niece and nephew and my sister and i'm adding that little chip or flare that's really light in color it says you and i you and me um, and i thought it just completes the you know the sentiment like you know the best part of today uh you and i so i'm just in spanish now to balance this out i'm actually because i think it's perfect the way it is but i need to bring something to the bottom to ground it too so i added all the two, this label and the little scallop edge come from the cardstock sticker. I'm going to add another chipboard flare in a darker color just so that I create kind of a zigzag of the chipboard flares throughout my layout. And I'm, again, I'm die cutting some of the florals just to create like, you know, kind of... Um, Re replicate the, you know the same look that i have going around my pictures after that i know that i want to add my lines of journal in that space between the florals at the top and that little cluster that i created at the bottom so i'm just drawing the lines i'm going to make sure that my sister writes whatever she wants to put on this layer when she gets it i usually give her an album at the end of the year with all the layouts that i created she usually gets two or three but a lot of them goes to her and just to finish this layout, because the washi tape has like this gold uh, look into it, I'm going to use quite a um, metallic drops. These are gold metallic drops and champagne glitter drops. These are both from Pink Fresh Studio. And I just want a little pop of color. You're going to see that I'm going to add three. Three is always a magical number around each one of the clusters. So I have three at the bottom cluster, three at the bottom of the swag of florals. I'm going to add three at the top of the swag of florals. I'm going to add just like a few next to the title and the same thing next to the phrase, um, little phrase stickers that I have in place there. And that's about it. I love how this turned out. Like I said, it's always a good idea. We all like, you know, I love Pink Fresh Studio, but I love having the ability or like, you know, bringing car making products into scrapbooking layouts there's so many possibilities and in this case having the washi tape it just opens your possibilities to a lot of embellishments in one single pass so make sure you check them out as always you know you can check the details in the blog and if you have any questions or comments don't hesitate to contact me remember that i'm always available just leave me a comment and i'll be back to check it out or you can check me on social media um remember to subscribe to the channel there's always beautiful content being added and don't forget to check like you know all the new pink face studio collections and also all the car making supplies like i said before the possibilities what you can create with them not just for car making by scrapbooking or your journals are infinite so you know take a chance thank you so much for joining me guys and i hope to see you soon take care guys